Good morning, you amazing people. Welcome back to Spot Trick Games. I'm your host, Spot. Hey, how are you? Anyway, um, yeah, welcome back to Stardew Valley. Let's go ahead and see what this amazing day can happen. Now, I'm going to replay this because this happened at the very end of the last episode. In fact, I actually stopped recording and then it happened. So luckily I caught it just in enough time. But let me replay for you the weird events of last night right now. I don't know what's going on. There's something magical happening. I don't know what this is. Whoa. What? 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 There you have it. So, I'm not sure what happened to that crop of blueberries. I don't know if that fairy just made it like a normal crop, or if I'm going to walk out and it's like a spectacular crop, or suddenly it's not blueberries anymore, it's something else. I... I don't know what happened, so I'm kind of I'm kind of curious. All right, so we have a storm tomorrow, lightning and thunder, so we're gonna have rain. That's gonna help us out a little bit there. Also, let's see what we have with the fortune teller here. Um, see a glimmer. Da, 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 da. Had to turn down my headphones. Uh, my wife was listening to music and she cranked it up a little bit more than what I normally have. So whoa, whoa, what did you say? Anyway, neutral neutral spirits today. Now, let's what? Did she make all my blueberries bloom, or at least a good chunk of them? No way. Oh my gosh. I like the fairy. I want my fa I want a fairy of my own right here. All right, let's see. Good. One, two, three. There we go. Um, so let's harvest some blueberries. Uh, this is great. Uh, blueberries easily are... Um, oh my gosh, one of them fell in. Don't fall in. Okay. This will not be a good idea for pumpkin area. I lost a blueberry. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. That's okay. That's okay. Those fish better eat healthy. Um, yeah, let's let's uh, let's turn this in and see what we can do here. Uh, I don't know if my other crop here is good to go, but let's find out. Oh, poor little, poor little dead crop. And I don't know what determines uh, if they make it or not because uh, I don't know why we have dead crops here and one there. I don't feel like I did anything different. I don't think I skipped or cheated out on something so I don't know just kind of weird how that works um, just one of the game mechanics I've never fully understood and probably would be beneficial of me to get to the bottom of it um, anyway yeah let's go ahead and do our morning chores I will get everything watered and we will be right back with you so hang tight and just like that we have ourselves 36 blueberries a couple of them are of uh, silver star quality we need to we just need to make a new box I mean I'm getting too much stuff uh, 41 wood is not enough do I have my axe yet it was my hoe I upgraded so where's my axe there you are okay so potatoes going back we ended up not using it uh, uh, blueberries and tomatoes and everything else no gold you stay uh, peppers good 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 so all that is great I need a lot of lumber so today is going to be a maintenance day where we will chop up whatever wood we can manage to get our hands on uh, and see if we can kind of get things going uh, additionally say hello to my bear hi bear oh sorry 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 it's a shame you can't interact with him other than he makes an amazing decoration so let's see what I need to do uh, throw in our last three gold so we can get our sprinkler system a bit more solid. That's good. And then we'll still, we'll still, if I can talk today, we will stick everything back into here. We do have some copper we can finish doing and we have plenty of iron and then we've got to get our quartz going. So we're making good progress. I'm almost out of coal though. Did I throw more coal in here? It seems like I have, some, I had a single coal. Okay. So we might have to go to the mines for that. We do have a rainbow shell that makes a magnificent gift. If we bump into somebody, we'll give it to him. I want to say odds are Sebastian won't appreciate it, but let's face it, he's also Mr. Doom, Gloom, and Screw screw the world and the verse as is. They're all a bunch of tools, man. All right. Well, chopping trees is not going to be too incredibly fun for you. Um, I don't think I need to run to town for anything. But wow, that gave, that gave me enough for my box pretty quick. So, okay, we are going to make a crop box. Only food goods will go into this box. So let's see what we've got that's 
food goods. Uh-huh. Quite a bit in this one, actually. I didn't expect there to be that much. Um, fish will have be their own thing. Same with foraging goods. Let's go for actual crop grown goods. Uh, or rather farming goods. Uh, I guess I'm foraging. Why not? Because, I mean, they are, uh, they are edible, too. So, okay. That's going to at least give us some space there. And then we can go back here and, like, keep sap pouring into this one. Because we have, what? Where's my sap? 23 sap. So... We can make all of our fertilizer we need. We have our cherry bombs. We have our rocks. Anything else in here that's really noted? That's a good idea. Let's... Anything mine-related that we can go into the caverns and get, we'll throw that into the other box. So that's going to be all of this. Uh, anything else? Gems, I think, are fine. Yeah, gems are fine over here. So let's throw everything in here. As fishing, or uh, I guess we can't. If we're gonna put all foraging into one area, let's let's be level-headed about it. Get get my uh, get my coal out of there. Welcome to the management episode where we manage exactly what we can find. Oh wait, 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 wait. Sorry. So foraging goods also in here. Then there we go, and that leaves this one open put all of our goods in here and all of our natural regrowth uh, flowers get you out of there and cave stuff there we go so this is more of like our resources this is more of we picked it we grew it or we found it and this is more specifically you know what we may as well just grab uh, we may as well just grab all of this here too there we go so there we go a little bit of management, a little bit of micromanagement, but hey, welcome to the joys of managing a uh, inventory structure. Uh, blueberries. We have 3,700. It is the 12th of the month. Let's see if we have a birthday. Before I get to work on being a tree chopping maniac, let's go see what we have in terms of resources. Additionally, I think my hoe is done. It, oh, if my hoe's done, let's upgrade... I want to upgrade the axe, but I need the lumber. But I can go purchase lumber. Oh, the torment of being me. Uh, how much does it take? Let's see. So it takes 50 wood, 40 stone, 8 coal. We don't even have the coal to make more preservative jars. That's what we could also do. Sorry, I'm all over the place. I'm just excited. I, I really feel good. Like I say in the last episode, I, I made it clear that we actually hit 50 subscribers, which is very exciting. I know in the grand scheme of YouTube, hey, it's a very, very small start. But you know what? It's a progressive start that I feel really good about. Um, I've been doing it officially for just over a month now. And within that month, actually a month and a half, uh, within that month and a half, I've hit 50 with a steady growth. I haven't seen any sort of decline. Everybody's pretty positive. I have been seeing... Um, some comments coming in, which I want more comments, so feel free to start a conversation with me. Love to have it. All right. All my self-pimpage out of the way. Uh, let's face it, there's a lot of it. Let's move on and get things going. What was I doing? Oh, that's right. All right, all right to town. Check birthdays. In fact, let's grab some stuff uh, in case there is birthdays. Uh, let's see. We'll grab flowers are good. Flowers, flowers, all the flowers. All right, good. Good. We're set. On a flower level. We'll just walk around town and be the flower man. And here we have it. And look, no one's birthday is here, but we totally, completely missed Maru's birthday. Man, we're jerks. So Alex is the next birthday that we have. Let's just go around. We'll get flowers here. Here you go. Yes, I'm sure. Uh, let's go in. I don't I don't think he's going to like it. Oh, he did say thanks. Well, you're, you're welcome. You're welcome, George. That kind of makes me happy. Uh, Harvey. Uh, I don't know if you like him. Okay, well, you like him, too. Uh, let's go up to... Oh, oh Abigail. Hey, 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 here you go. Hey, how'd you know I was hungry? Well, wait, you're green. I've got three hearts with you. Look at me go. kind of wish I had a cat. Unfortunately, my dad is allergic to pretty much everything. Well, I mean, I got a cat. Come and hang out. Are you satisfied with the quality of my summer seeds? <laughs> yes, sir, I am. In fact, here, have a flower. You're welcome. Glad to... What? What happened? I mean, I, I'm not going to complain. 
but with the exception of like just a grundle of people, everyone seems very genuinely happy with me. I didn't think, I didn't think that uh, we got that far into it, but you know what? That's fine. That's fine. Cool. We're we're making people happy left and right. Uh, let's go pick up my pickaxe and let us. Did I grab copper? I did not. So apparently we are not going to upgrade our axe this time, but that's okay. We still can chop down a bunch of trees. Sorry, I keep putting the arrow over my dude's face, and that's probably annoying, so I will stop that. Uh, let's see. You're going into there. Clint, how are you doing good, sir? Ah, uh, copper hoe. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. I... D do you like flowers? No. Nope. Nope, you don't. My terrible gift giving uh, continues. That was that was apparently pretty pretty terrible. Um, I doubt the boy likes them. Oh, for me, wow, thanks. So there you go. Uh, one for you. Yep, yep, you're welcome. Uh, one for you, Jazz. I love presents, thank you. And one for you, Penny. There we go. Okay, so we're. We're working the system. I know Alex is there. He's at, he has a birthday coming up. He'll be fine. He'll be just fine. Uh, let's see. That looks good. That looks good. Okay. So let's go back to my let's go back to my farm. I'm gonna go ahead and do a tree chopping montage. So stick stick by me. We're gonna get through it. We don't have a lot of energy unless I eat something. I don't know if I have anything to eat. Well, yes, I do. I have a crate. I have a bunch of cave carrots. I'm gonna just wolf those down. We're not missing anything, are we? Oh, mare shorts. I gotta get friendly with Marnie. We'll get there. We'll get there. See now, the train passing notice that just came up on the screen. That is going to let us know that if we venture up towards the sauna, there is a chance that there's a lot of materials that dropped off the train that we can actually harvest and use. But in this case, probably not going to be a, probably not going to be a thing. So let's go ahead and start our tree chopping montage. Quick montage break. Look at this. We got honey. Okay, okay, that's all. Just throwing that into there, and then off we go. Well, we did it. We made 165 wood, which is not bad, but it wasn't quite as much as I was hoping, but we have kind of run out of food. So let me see if we've got some food, maybe kind of re-energize this run and see if we can kind of go from there. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like I have anything that would be... A kale, maybe, I don't know. Well, maybe, no... No, I think I'm just going to call it a win-win uh, a here. So we have enough wood that we can actually create a couple more preservative jars. But we don't have enough coal. Dang it. Boy, we're just, we're firing on all cylinders here with luck. Um, that's okay, though. Uh, let's go ahead and get the, let's get what we can burning here. And we're most definitely going to have to do a uh, run over to... Uh, you know, the thing with the thing, if I can, you know, concentrate enough to talk. We're going to have to do another run up to the mines in order to get enough coal and things so we can kind of keep it going. Really? Only one? Okay. There we go. Fair enough. Fair enough. So we have two, uh, two coal left, which is not a terrible situation, but boy, I sure would like more. We have all of our nature stuff there. We did get quite a bit of sap, so I mean, there's always that. That's a pretty good takeaway from everything. We do have enough uh, to kind of grow enough trees. Maple, apparently, for some reason, is among the tougher things to get. Uh, one of our last actions here, since it's still a lot of time, we're going to take our summer crops over to turn them into the community center, because I want to say we have most of them. Uh, hot pepper, blueberry, melon's the only thing missing. So we have a blueberry and a tomato. Melon is our wild card here. So blueberries we just kind of uh, made as is. So you know what? I think we're actually going to be good. Yep, 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 we're going to be good. Let me throw in our lumber that we collected. 
And let's see, we pet the kitty, we let the kitty know we love her. All right, great. Uh, all in all, it was a pretty productive day. It's going to rain tomorrow, so that's going to save us some time on our crops and energy. So tomorrow might even be a better day to go and harvest everything. So that's our current goals, guys. That's going to do it for this episode of Stardew Valley. I'm your host, Spot, here at Spotter Games. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you liked, uh, or if you like my channel and the things we're doing, hit the subscribe button while you're here as well. Feel free to drop me a comment in the comments down below because we will be getting a bit more interactive and I will need good positive feedback or at least fun feedback from our amazing audience that we have coming back to this channel every day. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Have yourselves a wonderful day because you know what? You just freaking deserve it. Take care, everybody.